Hi, my name is Allison. I'm going to be your nurse for today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start off your physical with just assessing that I have the right equipment. I have my stethoscope, my pen light over there, and my gloves. So I have all the proper equipment that I'll need for today. If at any point during this appointment you have any pain or discomfort, please just let me know. Okay. I'm going to start off by asking you if you could say your full name. Tyler Anthony B. Where you are right now? Allison Lafreda's apartment. And what day of the week it is? Saturday. Okay, good. Patient is alert and oriented times three. Patient was able to respond to all questions with ease and speech is intact. Now I'm going to give you three words. I want you to remember those words for later in the appointment. I'll ask you for them. Okay. Your words are cat, red, and ball. Cat, red, and ball. Okay, good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to um, assess your coordination. Okay. So I'm going to have you touch your index finger to your nose, and then to my finger. I'm going to keep following it. Okay. Good. Hold on. Patient's coordination is intact, was able to follow my finger everywhere it went. Next thing I'm going to have you do is your facial cranial nerves. So I'm going to have you smile, frown, puff out your cheeks, and raise your eyebrows. Patient's facial cranial nerves are intact. Next, I'm going to have you close your eyes, and I'm going to touch a few different places on your body. Just tell me where I'm touching. Left shoulder. Right hand. Right elbow. Left hand. Okay, good. Patient's sensation is intact, was able to locate all areas that I touched. So now I'm going to ask you if you could stand up. I'm going to have you walk over here and then walk to that side of the room. Okay, good. And you can stand right here now. Okay. Okay, good. So patient's gait was smooth and steady, walks with no limps or any swaying from side to side. Patient has erect posture and has and ambulates with ease. So now I'm going to ask you if you could stand on one foot and then the other foot. And then I'm going to ask you if you could put your arms out in front of you and close your eyes. Very good. Okay, so patient's balance and coordination is intact, was able to respond to the Romberg test with no swaying side to side or loss of balance. I'm going to ask you if you could turn around. And I'm going to assess your spine, so if you could bend down and touch your toes for me. So going to palpate your spine. Okay. okay, good. You can sit back down. Okay, so patient's spine has no signs of curvature, abnormalities, no signs of scoliosis, no lesions, masses, lumps, or bumps present. Spine is straight, symmetrical, and intact. So now I'm going to ask you if I, I could, I, no, I'm not going to ask you, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put the gloves on, and I'm going to palpate your scalp. Okay. The gloves are for infection control purposes. Okay. Looking at your head, I can see it's round, symmetrical, and proportionate to the rest of your body. Your hair is evenly distributed on your head, is healthy, is appropriately colored for your age. Um, I don't see any, uh, I don't see any excessive dryness, oiliness, or moisture in your hair. But I'm gonna just palpate it to double check, and also assess your scalp. No lesions, masses, lumps, or bump present on the scalp. No sign of infestation or any excessive dryness. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate your face. So I'm just going to go like this. My face. Okay. No pain? No. Patient reports no pain on palpation of face. Skin color is consistent with the rest of the body. No excessive oiliness, dryness, or flakiness at all. Um, the face has no masses, lesions, bumps, or lumps or bumps present. Face's skin is intact. Now I'm going to do your ears. So I'm just going to palpate your, both your ears. Now it's been stopped. Skin on the ears is consistent with the rest of the body, no excessive redness. I didn't find any masses, lesions, lumps, or bumps upon palpation. Now I'm just going to take my light. I'm going to assess for any drainage. Okay. 
Okay, no drainage is present in either ear. No signs of edema or swelling, no foreign objects or obstructions in the ear. So now I'm just going to do a whisper test. I'm going to whisper a word into each ear. I want you to just recall the word to me. Dog. Hello. Okay, good. Patient was able to rec recall both words whispered into ear, so no hearing difficulties are noted. Um, do you have any assistive devices with you today? Any hearing aids, glasses? No. Okay, no assistive devices noted. Now I'm going to do your eyes. If I could have you just hold down your lower eyelid like this. Okay, and the other. Okay, good. Okay, so patient's sclera is white, no yellow or redness to the sclera. The conjunctiva is pink, moist, and no signs of edema or swelling or any drainage present. The irises are in the uh, pupil, both round and symmetrical, as well as the eyes are symmetrical and proportionate to the rest of the body. The hair on the eyelashes and the eyebrows uh, are evenly distributed, and the skin on the eyelids is consistent with the rest of the body with no edema or swelling or redness present. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine my light into each of your eyes. I'm going to just assess your pupils. Both eyes contract bilaterally. Pupils are round and reactive to the light. I'm just going to have you look at this as I bring it closer to your face. Okay, good. Patient's eyes are both accommodating. Now we're going to do the six cardinal fields of gaze. If you can just keep your eyes on this. Okay, patient passes the six cardinal fields of gaze. No signs of any arambolopia or nystagmus present, so extraocular cranial nerve is intact. Now I'm going to assess your peripheral vision, so if you could just tell me when you see my fingers. See them. Okay, peripheral vision is intact. Now we're going to move on to the nose and sinuses. I'm just going to palpate your sinuses, your frontal sinuses. Your maxillary sinuses. Any pain or tenderness present? No. Patient reports no pain or tenderness upon palpation of the frontal or maxillary sinuses. No edema or swelling or congestion. So sinuses are both clear and patient should breathe, be breathing with ease. But we're also going to assess the nose. Skin on the nose is consistent with the rest of the body. No excessive oiliness, dryness, or moisture. Um, the nose is symmetrical. And it's midline, um, proportionate to the rest of the face. The nose isn't deviating for, to either side. So now I'm going to ask you if you could cover one nostril and sniff the other. Okay, good. Nose is near, both nares are patent. Patient should be able to breathe through nose with ease. I'm just going to look up your nose really quick with my light. Okay. No drainage, foreign objects, obstructions noted in the nose. No excessive drainage or um, deviated septum. The septum is intact. Okay, so the nose is all set. I'm going to do your mouth. I'm going to take my pen light and just you know, stick out your tongue really wide and say, ah. Uh. Okay, good. So upon inspection, the lips are moist, pink, no excessive dryness. Looking at the tonsils in the back of the throat, they're both symmetrical. There's no redness or inflammation of the tonsils, so no infection is present in the throat at this time, as well as there's no spots or any foul odor, nothing like that, so no infection. Both the uvula and the tongue are both midline, symmetrical, moist, pink, neither of them are deviating to either side, as well as the tongue doesn't have any foul odor or thrush or any type of fungal infection on it, so the tongue is healthy. Looking at the gums and the mucosa, they're both also pink, moist, and healthy. No signs of lesions or any wounds or bleeding of the gums. The teeth are all intact. They're white. They have no cracks, no discolorments or cavities present to my eye. So overall, I'd say the mouth is in good health. So now I'm going to assess your TMJ or your temporal mandibular joint. If you could just open your mouth, close. Good. Okay. So TMJ is intact, no signs of crepitus or any cracking or pain or discomfort. 
So TMJ is intact. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to assess your neck. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate your lymph nodes, which are non-palpable, but this is a good thing. No hard, rubbery masses in the lymph nodes, so that means there's no sign of infection. I'm going to palpate your trachea. Trachea is midline, no lesions, masses, lumps, or bumps present, as well as the thyroid is non-palpable. If you could just swallow. Any pain? No. Okay. Swallowing is intact, no discomfort or pain swallowing. So, now I'm going to ask you if you do range of motion of your neck. Can you do one side? The other side? Front and back? Okay, patient has full range of motion of neck, is able to move neck with ease. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assess your carotid arteries. So I'm going to feel each one. Okay, both carotid arteries have a good pulse. I can feel it. Um, so they're present bilaterally. I'm just going to take a listen. Okay, both pulses are present. They're uh, S1 and S2 are both heard. No whooshing or brutes present, so that's a good thing. Um, so circulation is getting through there pretty good. I'm just going to take a quick, quick listen to your thyroid. Also a good thing, there's no bruits or whooshing present in your thyroid. So, no signs of hyper or hypothyroidism or goiter. Now I'm going to do the range of motion of your upper body. Okay, so I'm going to ask you if you could first shrug your shoulders. Okay, good. Strength in the shoulders is intact. Okay, I'm going to ask you if you could rotate your arm in a big circle. Okay, good. And bend your elbow. Good. Spin your wrist. And I'm going to palpate your hands. Okay, good. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing in this. Put that arm down. Okay. If you can make a big circle. <laughs> okay, if you can bend your elbow. Good. Wrist. Okay, I'm just going to palpate. I found no crepitus or cracking in any of the joints. I'm going to now check the charger in both of them. If you could put this on. No tenting, so patient has good hydration and elasticity of skin. Now I'm going to check capillary refill which is less than three seconds, so patient has adequate capillary refill and circulation in the upper extremities. Um, skin is also consistent with the rest of the body, is intact, um, is healthy, no excessive dryness. I'm just going to take your radial pulses in both of your wrists. Both radial, pre uh, radial pulses are present bilaterally. Um, so patient does have adequate circulation in the upper body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your precordium. I can see from looking that your skin is intact. It is consistent with the rest of the body, as well as there's no, no uh, rashes, lesions, lumps, or bumps present. So now I'm going to go into your lung sounds, if you could. Take a deep breath. Okay, good. Deep breath. Okay, good. Deep breath. Good. Deep breath. Good. Last one. Okay, good. Okay, so lungs are clear bilaterally. Patient is able to breathe and raise diaphragm with ease. I heard no uh, bruits, no sounds of wheezes, ronchi, crackles, strider, or strider present. No whooshing, so uh, air is passing through the lungs as it should. No abnormalities. Now I'm just going to listen to your heart. First, I'm going to listen to the aorta. Pulmonary. Herbs point. The tricuspid, 
in the mitral. Okay, good. I'm just going to flip this around. So all the heart sounds were present, S1 and S2 were both present. Um, I didn't hear any whooshes, any fruits. I didn't uh, hear any lifts, heaves, or pulsations. So patient has healthy, strong pulse and adequate circulation through the body. Now I'm going to ask you if you could lie down. I'm going to assess your abdomen. So well, thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can see from looking, the skin is consistent with the rest of the body. There's no rashes or anything like that, no abnormalities. So I'm just going to take a little feel. Any pain or tenderness? No. No? Okay. No pain or tenderness upon palpation, no distension, no edema, swelling. So we're just going to take a listen to the bowel sounds now, as well as the vascular sounds of the abdomen. Okay, you're all set with that. Okay, bowel sounds were all definitely present, very loud. Um, and as well as the vascular sounds were present. Um, so there's no signs of any hyper or hypoactivity of the bowels. So the bowels are intact and healthy. Now we're going to do range of motion of the lower extremities. So I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to have you do big circles. Okay, good. I'm going to have you bend your knee. Good. Circles with your ankle and flare your feet. Okay, good. Same with this one. Big circles. Good. Now bend your knee. Ankles. And flare your toes. Okay, there's some crepitus in the toe. But as far as the rest of the lower extremities, there are no crepitus or cracking. The skin is consistent with the rest of the body. Only a little bit of crepitus in the patient's left toe. But that's okay. Okay, so we're going to now check the trigger. No tenting, so hydration is adequate as well as good skin elasticity. Capillary refill is less than three seconds, so adequate circulation to the lower extremities as well as the temperature is a nice warm, so it's not too cold. Good circulation. And I'm gonna take your temporal, uh, your uh, tibial, tibial pulse in both legs and your pedal pulses. Okay, both pedal and tibial pulses are present bilaterally. So, good circulation. Now I'm going to ask you if you could just recall the three words. Red, cat, and ball. Okay, good. So patient's short-term memory is intact, was able to remember all three words. And I'm just going to do the strength of the lower extremities now. If you could, raise your feet and push them down. Okay, good. And with the leg up. And this leg up. Okay. So patient has adequate strength in all lower extremities. And that is the end of the assessment.